So I'm John, this is James, and we're going to be re reviewing today the Budweiser Copper Lager, the Jim Beam uh, beer combination. Uh, do you have anything to say about the can, first off? I like the can. It's got a nice black, gold, white thing going on. I like that. It makes it look fancy. I like fancy beers. So uh, I thought originally when I saw the commercial that it was uh, mixed with Jim Bean whiskey. I also thought that. But apparently it's just um, aged in real barrels from Jim Bean whiskey. So it's not actually, would you say, mixed. It's no, just... it's more a beer in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> beer in a Jim Bean barrel. But, uh, so it says on the top here, this is a flavorful American copper lager. Brewed with two row barley and aged on a real Jim Bean bourbon barrel. Put your hand up if you don't know what that means. <laughs> Staves for a toasted oak aroma, a deliciously nutty taste with caramel rye and vanilla notes, and a smooth finish. So, again, I don't know what that means, but uh, I thought it would be mixed with whiskey, but it is 6.2%. Uh, <laughs> So that is a good thing. It is a higher percentage than uh, yeah. your average. Thank you. Yeah. So we will uh, be doing a taste test right now. So here, cheers. We opened it. So take the smell first. It oh, smells yeah. like a regular Budweiser to me. I don't see. I don't notice. It's no. It's it's a little different. It's it's a stronger scent. Yeah, slightly stronger. All right. More cheers, more beers. I said that's all. Oh. Uh, so first thoughts on the first sip is as I'm sipping it, it tastes pretty good. And then <clears throat> the aftertaste is hits anus. me and it's pretty gross. Uh, that's my initial first uh, taste. What, do you, what would you say, James? I find that it is, it's a little bitter, but it's got like a sweet kind of taste to it. Like it's it's different. I guess you could say it's bittersweet. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do a second sip here. A second sip to try to, you know, and now we've got the first. Inversions, thanks for nothing. <laughs> oh. The second sip is better, but still this aftertaste I'm tasting. It's, it's definitely a little more thicker than your average Budweiser, a little more Yeah, bitter. it's definitely not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the worst beer I've ever had. I like no. that they tried something I mean, new here. I mean, we've, we've had Goose IPA. Goose IPA is the worst beer of all time. It is. If you I drink go Goose on IPA, record, we are not friends. I'd I'm rather sorry. have a cold 45 and an old E than a 12 case of Goose IPA. Goose I'd IPA. rather have a crab juice. <laughs> Goose IPA is disgusting. It's better than Goose IPA. Um, so let's see, let's do a chug. Let's try to chug a little bit and see how we taste that. So we'll do a little bit of a chug. I'm trying to cheers you, you're not. Hey, I wasn't ready. You, you didn't meet you, me halfway. Okay? Yeah, I'm going 90, you're going 10. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! You're getting, you're getting I'll even do 60 40. I'm not. Doing I, I will go pretty fitty. You just, uh -huh. you gotta tell okay. me. You can't just raise your glass. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right. gonna do 50 50. Yeah, and then we're gonna do I'm a, in for it. I'm in chug. for a good fucking black, gold, white chug. You're just, right. you're getting into. I uh, got a little excited. All right, let's do it. See, in there, in there, in there, in there. Whoa. It's not a chugging beer. It's nope. If you're entering a chugging contest, you don't want to use uh, the Budweiser Jim Bean. Cause you yeah, win. I was, it, <laughs> no. I'd rather a fucking can of big beans, to be honest. <laughs> it is gross. Wow. Yeah. The, it's, it's not the actual taste, it's the aftertaste that is just Horrible. And I'm Mr. Jug your beer, and that's not pleasant. So, what ooh. would you describe the aftertaste as? Um, you know when like you eat a fish, <laughs> yeah, but you don't get the fish; you just get the fish's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that would be better than this. Yeah, for 
for sure. Woo! <laughs> try to, I know you're wearing a hat, so try to look up at the camera. When you I'm trying to get this taste out of my mouth here. <laughs> yeah, as you should. So, um, but ooh. it's pretty gross. Jiminy Jilligers. I think the people watching might not know that we can chug a beer and they might think that this is a bad beer. I'll fight them. Do you have any <laughs> other beers that we can show them that we can actually chug? I have a couple of Bud Y. Just regular Bud Yeah, in my room. Do you want to uh, get those couple of Budweiser's and show them how real Budweiser chugs in comparison to the Budweiser Jim Bean Lager? And I'll give you a Jim Bean in replace. <laughs> Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> Can't wait for that. It's a big dog. It's a girl, bitch. And she snagged your life. Yeah, All right, so James was kind enough to get us a couple of Budweiser's, just regular ass Budweiser's. Nothing, Normal ass buds. Nothing special. They haven't been tampered with. They're closed. Motherfuckers are closed. Closed, just like uh, your girlfriend's vagina when you come over. So we're going to do a chug. Everyone's gonna hate me, not even get. It. Just to prove that the difference between chugging this and chugging this is yeah, substantial. like this. Look, look at the difference in the can for a minute here. I think this can looks better. I do, I do think the gross can looks a lot better. The gross can but looks better. But the beer and the red can is like, hey, guess what guys? I'm decent. <laughs> I'm not bad. All right, so we're gonna chug this. So, um, to honor. Oh, I was gonna drink to uh, that thing that we did that one time with the girl. Okay, we're not going to talk about that on camera. It wasn't a threesome, you <laughs> weirdo. It was just a time that... I'm sure it was. No, right, here, here we go. I'll tell you later. Okay. Uh, man, beer's cool. So we were able to successfully chug the Budweiser's. Yeah, these we could chug, but also you gotta chug it and it's gonna come back up. So we're gonna try to chug these again now just to show you kind of how horrible it is. See what he just said there was wrong. <laughs> I am not gonna chug this. I, will, I, I only got to here the last time. I chugged this and thrown up. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a mini chug right now just to show the audience. Uh, I want to fucking chug. throw up right now. Oh. So, um, again, the aftertaste is uh, quite horrible. Uh, when you're drinking it, it's not that bad, but that aftertaste hits you like a ton of bricks. So, I, could I recommend this? Um, it, is, it is a higher percentage again. This is five. This is... <laughs> <laughs> um, James is going to puke. Uh, I can't handle his. his <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. Can't handle the Budweiser, the regular one. <laughs> hey! That's what happens when you have cold pork. It was his grandfather's 80th no. birthday today. Happy birthday, Ernie, by the way. Happy birthday, Ernie. Uh, and he had a lot of food and a lot of booze. So, happy birthday to Ernie again. Happy 80th birthday. Oh. Um, All right. How are you feeling, champ? Well, I uh, threw up all the pulled pork I ate earlier at my grandfather's 80th birthday. Pork. Yeah, you know what? Don't mix it with Jim Bean Budweiser. <laughs> Don't mix it. Do not mix Jim Old Park with Jim Bean. <coughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Son of Tatum O'Neill, that was bad. So, okay. Out of 10 stars, what would you give the... Well, first off, let's just do a little bit of a control. Out of 10, what would you give a regular ass Budweiser? Regular ass Budweiser out of 10? Oh, I 
I'll go eight. I'll go eight. An eight. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go with a seven. A See, seven. I, I I thought seven point five. Yeah. But okay. Um, so he gives an eight. I give him a seven. What are you gonna give a regular ass? Uh, or no, sorry, not this. Regular, this is gonna be surprising to you. Bean. This yes. might be a little bit surprising to you. Sure. 5.5. 5.5. So from an 8 to a I don't. 5. I don't 5. think it's disgusting, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's good. I think it's average. Okay, so he went with a. He went from an 8 to I a 5.5. I wish I had more pulled point pork. Five. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. And I'm gonna go from a 7 to a 5. I'm gonna give it a 5. Um, it's not the worst beer I've ever had. If you drink it slow, it's not too bad. It's not a chugging beer for sure. It's disgusting. It's, um, it, it tastes like the inside of your mom's ass. Like, no one wants that shit. How is the inside of your mom's ass a 5.5? <laughs> huh? That's the question. She eats a lot, she eats a lot of corn. <laughs> <laughs>